सो वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन विच विल स्टडी सम क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग सम रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस चैप्टर हाइड्रोजन सो वाई हाइड्रोजन गैस इज नॉट ए कंस्टिट्यूंट ऑफ अर्थ एटमोसफेयर सो इट इज रीजन इज देर हाइड्रोजन इज ए लाइट गैस इट इज ए मॉलिकल इज वेरी स्मॉल एंड लाइटर ऑल्सो एंड इट इज सो लाइट द अर्थ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड इज वेरी स्मॉल टू होल्ड दैम सो दिस गैस इज स्केप आउट फ्रॉम द अर्थ एटमोसफेयर That's why it is not a constituent of Earth's atmosphere. The electrolysis of water for manufacturing hydrogen gas is always carried out in presence of Ac, that is H two SO four or alkali. Yet no sulfate ions or potassium ions are discharged. So these two ions are not discharged. Why? So you can see this answer. Actually, the it is based on the concept discharge potential. So when the discharge potential of sulfate is greater than the OH, this is the fact. In case of anion, in case of cation, the discharge potential of potassium is greater than the hydrogen, so this will not be discharged because the concept is that if the discharge potential is higher, the lesser is tendency to get discharge. So these two are never discharged; only this will convert it. This this is converted into oxygen, this is converted into hydrogen. So this is the basically answer. Hydrogen ion is hydrogen gas is evolved more quickly when zinc is treated with the dilute HCl than with the dilute acetic acid. So it is very clear that. Why it is uh, more evolved quickly? Because HCl is stronger acid, and it will find its more H plus sign. So this is the answer. In the preparation of hydrogen in the laboratory, so when you prepare the hydrogen in the laboratory from granular zinc, so these acid like Kong H2O or Kong HCl nitric acid are not used. We never use instead of this acid we are using dilute HCl. So what is the reason why the acid cannot be used? So let us see answer. In case of concentrated H two SO four, what happens? The part of the acid reduces to sulfur dioxide, like this one. So this is the our. It will undergo reduction. But if you take care, uh, with respect to HCl, concentrated HCl, uh, this will convert into zinc will convert into ZnCl two and H two. And since it also contains some fumes of volatile HCl, so we won't get hydrogen. We'll get here. We'll get hydrogen plus HCl. But if you use also. This one zinc chloride forms a coating on the zinc, and the reaction stops after some time. So these two, uh, this will form a coating. This will be impure hydrogen, and we will get also volatile HCl. In case of uh, HNO3, so what will happen? This will act as an acid and an oxidizing agent. So the nascent hydrogen will form. It will reduce the HNO3 into various oxides like NO2, NO2 nitrous, uh, nitrogen dioxide, or nitric oxides like this one. So these are the almost regions in which we avoid using concentrated H two SO4, concentrated HCl, and nitric acid. So in other cases, we are using generally dilute HCl. Why do legs freeze from top to top towards bottom? So always legs freeze from the top. Then it is going towards the bottom. So what is the reason? So reason is the density of the ice is less than that of the liquid water. That this we know very well because ice floats on the water. So the ice floats on the surface. So that's the ice layers at lower temperature. So lower temperature down. So first ice is formed and it floats over the water below it. So due to this, the freezing of water into ice takes place continuously from top towards bottom. So can marine fishes species lives in distilled water? So it's possible they say this marine fishes species live in distilled water. So no, this distilled water does not have dissolved oxygen. So this water does not have dissolved oxygen. So any this marine species cannot live in distilled water. So explain why the density of ice is less than water. Explain why density of ice is less than water, or why there is a decrease in volume when ice melts. So why there is a decrease in volume when ice melts? So this is a very important question. So let us see the we have very big answers. So actually, uh, if you see the structure of ice in water and in free state, so this is the ice state, this is the ice water. So in this case, this is, you can see this each water molecule is surrounded by three water molecules. In hexagonal state, this water molecule is surrounded by three water molecules. So this is the one, this is the two, and this is the three. But in case of ice state, you can see this water molecule is surrounded by four. So one, this is the two, this is the three, and this is the four. So this is the tetragonal. You can say tetrahedral shape. This is a tetrahedral shape. So this creates more volume. This creates more volume. So this structure actually cage structure. So they have open space. So in this state they have open states. So in this structure what happens? 
लेसर नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स आर पैक्ट पर एम एल सो लेसर नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स पैक्ट पर एम एल वेन आइस मेल्स ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स आर ब्रोकन सो दिस वी कैन सी हेयर हेयर दीज आर द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स सो सी हेयर दीज आर द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स सो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर दिस हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स आर ब्रोकन सो दिस विल कम क्लोजर टू ईच अदर दैट्स वट इट इज रिटर्न हेयर सो द मॉलिकोज देर फॉर मूव इन टू द होल्स और द ओपन स्पेसिस एंड कम क्लोजर टू ईच अदर एंड देन दे वेयर इन सॉलिड स्टेट दिस रियल्स शार्प इंक्रीज इन द डेंसिटी एंड दस आइस हैज लोअर डेंसिटी देन वाटर सो देर इज ए कंट्रैक्शन इन वॉल्यूम and this the contraction continues from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade as the hydrogen bonds are broken progressively the density of i water is maximum at 4 degree centigrade melting point of deuterium oxide is higher than the water why so why the melting point of deuterium high so actually in d2o this was a stronger hydrogen bonding than water that's why it has high melting points and boiling point so actually hydrogen bonding is uh, having a large number of applications in different type of compounds so due to this uh, they poses high boiling point of that particular compounds hard water is softened before used in boilers so what is the reason so reason is actually on heating this hard water so they give precipitate of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate so this is precipitate we are getting along with the calcium sulfate and they forms scales in the boilers and to avoid the scale formation this hard water is softened before it's used into boiler although deuterium oxide resembles h2o chemically so yet it is a toxic substance why so actually deuterium deuterium is having a heavier isotope of water d plus actually d is the heavier isotope of hydrogen so it reacts with uh, slowly as compared to the h plus in the reaction so reaction of d2 uh, d plus is slower than the h plus which is involved in the enzyme catalysis that's why we never use d2o rather we will use h2o so this is the basically reason small amount of phosphoric acid or glycerol is glycerol or acetone lead is added in h2o to during its storage why so why we use a small amount of this phosphoric acid so reason is actually these are the additives phosphoric acid glycerol acetone lead these are the additives and which act as a negative catalyst for the decomposition of h2o to hydrogen peroxide and decomposition of h2o to is checked off so this is the reason they occur as a negative catalyst for decomposition of h2o during its storage statues coated with white lead on long exposure to atmosphere turns black the original color can be restored on treatment with h2o to why so we can see the reason actually on long exposure to atmosphere uh, white lead is converted into black lead sulfide and uh, due to the action of h2s the statues turns black the treatment of statues with h2o2 converts lead oxide into white and lead sulfate to restore color so this is the lead plus h2 we can see this is the black in color so when you apply h2o2 so it becomes lead sulfate so lead as sulfate will give you white in color phosphoric acid is preferred to sulfuric acid in the preparation of h2o2 from barium peroxide so why phosphoric acid is preferred so we can see here actually uh, this uh, sulfuric acid this is their acting as a catalyst for decomposition of h2o2 that is formed and as 3 pure for is preferred in the place of h2o2 so this is the reason so why this h2so4 is not preferred as 3 pure for is preferred and hydrous barium peroxide is not used for the preparing of h2o2 why so the reason is and hydrous barium peroxide they react slowly with sulfuric acid the reaction of this is very slowly and the reaction ceases after almost after some time so why it ceases because uh, there is formation of protective film of barium sulfate on the barium peroxide so it is always advised to use hydrated barium peroxide so these are the reasons